Kyle Shanahan said something very interesting about Christian McCaffrey and Jeff Wilson Jr. Let me get the exact quote up because I don't want to get it wrong. Um, hold on. Sorry. Okay. So this is interesting. Matt Mayoko is very measured in his... I'm crazy. Matt Mayoko is very measured in his coverage of the team. And he'll wait. But... Once again, this offense scored just 22 points. They're averaging 22 points for the season. There's way too much talent for them to be scoring 22 points a game. So Matty on the on the uh, Monday call said, Kyle, you know, you got a lot of talent. You've added a lot of players. Once again, only 22 points. Is there something you can put your finger on? And, you know, when I ask the question, uh, Kyle can be dismissive because, oh, there's Grant again looking for uh, a, a, a reason to criticize me. When Matty does it, he's the most reasonable person in the world, and he waited until week 11 to do it. So Kyle starts try, hemming and hawing and trying to say something that's, say some kind of explanation. And here's what he lands on. We added one new running back and we lost our leading rusher, i.e. Jeff Wilson Jr., lost our leading rusher. So I don't feel like we've added all these new guys. We brought in Christian and we lost Jeff and I'm real excited about having Christian here, but it's not changing up a ton of stuff. I thought... The fact that he could actually say that with a straight face was amazing. Now, I didn't see his face because it was a conference call. But the other thing I thought was, that's exactly what we said when he made the trade. We were like, yeah, Christian's good, but Jeff is good, and this isn't going to really change much. Uh, so Kyle agrees with us. That's nice. Well, I have a question. If it didn't change much, why the hell did you make the trade? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, second round pick, third round pick, fourth round pick, and a fifth the next year for a net zero move. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, uh, so I have a few things to say about that. It's a really dishonest answer, Iggy. Yes. It's a dishonest answer. Because yes. He made it seem we lost. It's like they were in a windstorm and he and Jeff, Jeff Wilson Jr. got blown off the hill and they haven't found them since. Yeah. But the search party out with same. They put an APB Bolo. on him. They put an <laughs> APB out for him. Bolo. Bolo out yeah. On him. Yeah. I mean, they traded him. They didn't lose him. There's, the verbs mean different things. So it's one of the most dishonest answers I've ever heard in my life. And even, you know, if I were there, I would have said, Coach, you didn't lose him. You traded no. him. No. So why'd you trade him? And he's trying to make him? it. He's, he's but The way he phrased it almost made it seem like he didn't want to trade Jeff Wilson Jr. He didn't want to trade for Christian McCaffrey. Oh, I don't believe that. I believe that he absolutely wanted to do this. And so now what he's doing is sort of moving the goalposts to take pressure off himself. He yeah. realizes, now, okay, I traded for Christian McCaffrey. Jimmy's playing well. Offense still hasn't improved. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that I'm in the common denominator here. <laughs> I got to take some heat off of myself. And so what I'm going to do is actually try to... Tell people that we're not as talented in offense as you think we are. Yeah. Yeah, I added Christian McCaffrey, but we lost this other running back. I don't know where he went. <laughs> oh, we traded him? That is news to me. Why did we do that? Can we get him back? <laughs> can we get him back? We could use all we can get. I love it. Why did anyone tell me that? <laughs> <laughs> I was in the shower and they traded him and no one told me. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it's, it doesn't inspire a lot of confidence when a guy's backpedaling like this, man. And Iggy, what what really what he's trying to do is not take responsibility. Yeah, and he's the leader. Do you understand? The leader is responsible, and he's trying to say, "Who me? <laughs> hey, someone well, traded Jeff know. Wilson Jr. I don't know who traded Jeff Wilson Jr. <laughs> but that was a mistake. That was a mistake. I don't get it at all. And so, so he. This is the culture that the Niners have that bugs me about them. He will never take responsibility for anything. And so the players that are established and make more money than him, have the green light to do the same damn thing. Although not all of them do. Fred Warner takes accountability. But the only ones that stand up there and say that they messed up are the ones who haven't gotten paid yet. Talanoa Hafunga, for example. He, he wins the game at the end with an interception. Seals the game. Comes in at the post-game press conference. First player out there and says, I just want to say um, the touchdown on the first drive, that was my fault. I just want to say that. That was 100% my fault. Okay, what are your questions? And no one was going to ask about that. They won the game. It was the first drive. He sealed it. We were going to ask him a million questions about the interception. He brought it up. And it's like, oh, the 23-year-old second-year safety is the, the model of professionalism and accountability on this team. Like, of course. Of course. Right. And he's saying, I have a standard, and I let it down. 
Yeah, he did that. Trey Lance did that. But the real, but the, the Kyle Kittle Debo never do that stuff ever. Well, I want to say I, I. It's now that I've heard about what Kyle said yes. about Jeff Wilson. I feel really sorry for Kyle because he lost. He lost. You know, it wasn't his fault. He lost Jeff Wilson Jr. Yeah. And then this other guy shows up in the locker room. Yeah, who didn't even know. This other guy who has a different name and he has a three initials, C- CMC, and he's little. And yeah. you can tackle him going over the middle. And I I, I heard – now, I, I can't tell you where, but I heard that a, they had to bring in a battery of psychiatrists into the into their facility. Allegedly. To, uh, allegedly to talk uh, Kyle down because he was so upset when he saw Christian McCaffrey there and he didn't know that, he, that the other guy, Wilson Jr., was gone. And I, I heard right. – yeah, I heard they had to strap him down. That's what but I heard it may too. May not be true. May not be true. It's hard to confirm. Um, yeah, but I think it's important to remember that if the Niners' offense continues to underperform as it has, uh, it's not Kyle's fault. It's whoever traded Jeff Wilson Jr. <laughs> whoever, whoever did that was should get fired right now. Yeah, find that masked madman, <laughs> Kyle. You said that we should trade. I never said that. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> you should have known. I was. That's my kind of sense of humor. Oh, that's so- he he has a lot of gall to say that. Oh, I got it. Iggy. I'm telling you, if I were in there, I actually would have started laughing. <laughs> I would have. And I was wait. Wait a minute, Coach. Wait, wait. We got to we got to use our verbs. We got to talk about <laughs> verbs here. Trade as opposed to lost. They have different meanings. Could we talk about that? And you he lost re- some draft choices too. You lost a lot there. The fact that he thought the best answer for why isn't your offense scoring more points with more good players is we actually didn't add more good players. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, we lost Jeff. Okay. Well, that was genius then, man. That's so funny. And you know, he just might win the Super Bowl in spite of all this this year, which is great. But wow, the the ride, the journey along the way is hilarious. It's just so funny. <laughs> Good job, Kyle. You know, I had this feeling when I used to cover the Raiders, but I because they were nuts. But if I were covering, and I'm not, if I were covering the Niners now, the feeling would be if they said to me, look, you have a choice, Lowell. You can win the Nobel Prize for Literature. We're going to give it to you. Or but you, you can't can cover, cover the Niners anymore. You can't cover the Niners anymore. I would say, I don't want the Nobel Prize. This is too much fun. When a guy says we lost Jeff I'm passing on the Nobel Prize. I want the Niners because there's something no one's cooking here. Okay, so you know our good friend Josh Dubow covers the Raiders for AP and he seems to have a similar attitude covering that. He's, he's covered them for a long time, and they've been way worse than the Niners over that time. And they have, a, they have a lot of fans that don't quite live in reality. So I can only imagine what the last three weeks have been like for Josh to experience the Raiders losing over and over. Games that you could say they, it's impossible they're going to lose this. There, there, there's no way they're going to lose to Jeff Saturday in his first game as a coach. He's never – they lost. Oh, man. I, I, uh, some well, people get all the luck. Tell him what Ira Miller, we had dinner with him last night, what he said about Jeff Saturday and the Raiders. What did he say? I forget. He lost to Jeff Saturday on a Sunday. <laughs> on a Sunday. No excuse. No excuse. <laughs> Brandon Penn says, is it racist that white players hang together? Like-minded people hang together. It just happens that white people usually think, act similar, and black people think, act similar, let them be themselves. I didn't say they were racist because there were no four white guys hanging out. Word, no one used the word racist. No one used that word. No one Don't you that put that on us. Um... Dang it. All right. Um, 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 House of Jello says, Grant, please clip this last segment. I have to show it to my friends who think I'm insane for saying Kyle Shanahan is the problem. I will clip it. I got you, House of Jello. And that's our show. Hour and we one. Did Hour we did it. I, I really enjoyed this, Iggy. Thanks a lot. It's the high point of my week. The high point of my week as well. Uh, I love you, Dad. I love you, Iggy. Um, when we're done, I'll call you back. I'll call you. Um, and, um, th- everybody who watched, I, I enjoyed this today. Thank you so much for hanging in with us. Yeah. And, um, I'll see you later. Um, I'll call you.